welcome to my video for my logo and text on the previous video I did. If you don't know what it is, it's just a 3D text that looks metallic and is done very simply. The program that we're going to be using is called GIMP. GIMP is a very basic program that anybody can use. It's really similar to Photoshop and you don't have to pay for it at all. You can find it at gimp.org slash downloads. And now I um, did this previously, as you can see here, but the microphone quality was not good enough, and so I redid it. I'm going to try to keep it under three minutes this time. First, to get a transparent background, add alpha channel, press delete, and make a new layer. From here, you would add your text that you would want to use. The text that I used for my title is called Tron, and you can find it by just searching it. From here, you would put the name that you would want to use. Merge it down to your layer, and then here, you press select by color and select the color that you used. Go to select, grow by about 5 pixels, and then create a new layer from the second one. Uh, um, create, use a different color and put it inside the selection. Drag this one down under the text that you use. You can already see that you already have the um, outline on your text here. Go to your top layer, filters, alphas to logo, and glossy. The default will be about right here, and then raise it to where you can see Flare Size Fact 101. Do for the same for Blend Grady Outline. Press OK, and then I'll start running the script. You can already see that it's starting to turn up. And here is just the basic, you know, alpha version of what you would be doing. For a clean, you know, title, this would be perfect, but to change the color, you would go add a texture, just really anything that you have, and place it and drag it on top of your project. And to add the colors to your text, you would look at the mode and change it to whatever you would want. The ones that create the best effects are overlay, dodge, burn, and hard lights. I'll try dodge first. Right click your texture add an alpha channel again to create a transparent background. You can see here that it's sort of a blue icy metallic text. And this is basically just the basic.